Welcome, guys. Welcome to the course on TCPIP. Uh, in previous lecture, we have discussed about the features of IP version 6 and the limitations and the adoption today. So, in this lecture, we are going to discuss about the IP version 6 base header, that is packet format and extension header. What kind of new features have been added that we are going to discuss along with their base header format. So, let's start. Let's start with this topic. Now, an earlier video also we have discussed about why there is adoption delay in IP version 6 because of these three reasons we have discussed. That is what because of class based addressing, where in IP version 4, uh, supernetting, subnetting, VLSM, these are the techniques are available and they have saved many of addresses. That's why the IP version 4 extended lifetime. Second would be DSCP protocol. DSCP protocol is a dynamic host configuration protocol where the IP address is going to be assigned to the host where he belongs to, he wants to uh, go. To Reach to the, uh, who wants to take a service from that network. The DSCP is also available. So that also saved maximum number of IP addresses but because dynamically or maybe for temporary purpose, the IP address were, were, up, were assigned in DSCP. Because of netting also, network address translation. So these are the reasons are available, guys. That's why the IP version 4 have extended their life. That's why we can, we can say this word the vaccination to IP version 4, which uh, extend their lifetime. But nowadays, IP version 6 is more over used where and where we can say most of the time, most of the uh, industries, most of the companies, most of the organizations are using IP version 6. If you go with the uh, online and check the IP, check my IP address. So definitely we get the IP address of uh, IP version 6 on my computer, which is what the public address, which is assigned by the ISP. So because, because the nodes and devices are more nowadays, the size of the internet is very large. So in order to support that kind of things, we have discussed in first lecture that the features of the IP version 6 and every features are absolutely good. Okay, so we are here we are going to discuss about the packet format, guys. Initially in chapter number three or two somewhere, we have discussed about the packet format of the IP version 4, where some format were there, was there. There was 13 to 14 fields were there, if you can in, include that option and data. Okay, but here also IP version 6 having the format that is packet format which include the base format base header and the payload so this <clears throat> base header is, is what the 40 byte fix if you talked about earlier the 20 to 60 byte it was the ip version 4 and the second is what the payload which is what 65535 which comprise of two fields very first is what extension header which is optional but very powerful there are six type of extension headers are available we are going to discuss and the data from upper layer so payload comprise of two information, extension header and the upper layer data. So let's take and let's uh, discuss this base header separately and this extension header separately. Okay, so let's start. And why why, why these protocols are required? If, if uh, every every communication happens, because we, we, we are, let's say, we take the example, let's say Facebook or any Gmail, we are chatting, we, we usually do chatting. And that messages, that packets are going to be sent across uh, the network by using this binding. This, this is what the format, this is what the format in which the, our message is going to be added. And then it is going to be sent to the uh, from source to destination. And that actually what kind of encapsulate kind of things, if you are sending high message and high will be type only of the data part and other additional information is required to send that data from the source to the destination. Because ultimately here there is a source and there is a receiver. If you talked about any text, any text, and this text will be added to this particular format and then only it is going to be sent. So let's start with the base header. There are some plenty of features or uh, fields are available. Very first feature and very first field is what? The version, which is of four bit in length. Four bit in length, which define the version of the IP data graph. And here, for example, for the IP version six, the value it is what six. So whenever any computer seeing the packet format or value stream, which value is zero one one zero, it means what this is what the six. So that node can identify that this packet is of what IP version six. If you talked about IP version four, if you have let's say zero. 100, zero, zero, which is what four, and if the value is put it over here, let's say zero, one, zero, zero, that node can identify this is what the packet datagram is what IP version four. But here the value is what six by zero, one, one, then zero. That's why it is going to be identified. How in this way it is going to be identified. 
okay then traffic class second field is traffic class let me clear this 8 bit field is used to distinguish different payloads with the different delivery requirements it replaced the service class field in the ip origin 4 initially service class or service type field was there what what happened with the traffic class traffic class field indicate the class or priority of ip origin 6 packet which is similar with the service field in ip origin 4 packet it helps router to handle the traffic based on the priority of the packet most of the packets most of the datagram are having the priority that need to be sent with that time so that priority can be handled by traffic class if let's say congestion occur on the router then packet with the least priority will be discarded let's say very uh, least priority who's having the packet having the packet with the least priority will be discarded but the highest priority that that need to be marked that need to be marked that priority field was there that need to be marked okay so this is what the traffic class for example let's say view ip uh, whatsapp call live streaming calling text video these are the examples we can say where where uh, reliability delays these things can be happen but here we can see the priorities matter because priority need to be set and this will be set it over here with this uh, traffic class which were to the power 8 where variation will be there so 256 variation 256 variation will be available with this so these are the second this is what the second field the next talk about, next talk about the third field that is what the flow level the flow level field is 20 bit field that is designed for providing a special handling for the particular flow of data so data flow what we have available with us because sender is wanted to send the data to the receiver and that is what the flow on the network in a simple form flow label can be used to speed up then processing of the data by the router so this is what the extra feature speed up flow label is what extra feature speed up the processing of the packet by the router how how it is going to be processed okay that is what very uh, magical things here when the router received a packet instead of consulting its routing table so instead of consulting its routing table and going through the routing algorithm to the de define to define the address of the next hope it can easily look up into the flow label table uh, for the next hope so what we have discussed earlier in dynamic routing static routing where every node look up into the uh, routing table to and decide that which, which is the source and which is the destination and which one is the next header next to node so instead of going to the routing table guys or in this ip 6 what is do it does one it, it did only uh, it do only it control to the uh, flow label table so instead of referring to the uh, routing table it ref refer to the flow label table and which find the next hope which find the next hope so it save flex in maximum size because routing table comprise of some additional information source address destination topological information neighbor information every matrix information so that is what the first thing uh, that that which helps to the first operation okay so this is what because routing algorithm what the different kind of algorithms are there rip algorithms are there oscp is there bgp is there lots of algorithms are there so instead of involving all the algorithm at every time it is better to have contact to the flow label table only because because what we have to do we have to only decide the next next hope that is whatever requirement okay uh, it is more sophisticated form. Flow label can be used for the support and uh, transmission of the real time audios and videos. For this, we can say, let's say, uh, for, for support these real time op uh, operations or maybe applications like audio and videos, the, it, uh, the process can make the reservation for this resource beforehand a guarantee that real time data will not be delayed due to lack of resources. So, here additional reservation facilities available of the resources for this real time. Multi, uh, real time or multimedia applications so this is going to be a very helpful for the fast communication uh, but here to allow this effective use of the flow label there are rules have been defined the flow label is assigned to packet by source 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 the label is random number between the 1 2 to the power 24 minus 1 the a source must not reuse the flow label for the new flow while it existing flow is still alive Second would be if the host does not support the flow label, it said this field will be with the zero. If router does not support the flow label, it will simply ignore it. Third will be all the packets belonging to the same flow are the same source, same destination, same priority, and same option. So these are the good things available. So to allow the effective use of the flow label, these three rules are there. These two real rules are there with the help of these three rules the flow label is going to be controlled and uh, implemented so let's take another fields of the base header the payload layer 
the, this is what a two byte payload length define the length of the ip datagram excluding the base header so actual payload uh, length is going to be defined excluding the base header initially we have discussed the base header and the payload okay here actually payload length the next header next header is what the 8 bit field defining the header that follows the base header in the diagram the next header is either one of the optional extension header used by the ip or the header of an encapsulated packet such as udp and tcp each extension header must contain this field the table shows the different values note that this field version uh, the field in version 4 is called a protocol what we have protocol have different protocol numbers okay as like this here there are some numbers let's say if we talked about next header value code will be zero so hope by hope operation to icmp likewise 60 destination 51 authentication 44 fragmentation so this is what the extension header parameters if we talked about the hope by hope fragmentation authentication destination source routing these are the fields we have to discuss okay this is what the purpose what is next to me because if you talked about the base header and after the base header what we have a next header that is extension header which carries the additional information about that datagram which wanted to send from source to destination then next field the hop limit and this hop limit field is what exactly similar with the ttl field available in ipvm4 and what is the purpose of ttl time to live time to live the date particular datagram what happened with the time to live it says sender and the receiver sender is sending and here there is a network there is a let's say any routers available so ttl field is set initially at the source level it reaches to the one hop the value of ttl field will be uh, let's say packet ttl field was let's say four five it reaches to the one hop it will be reduced to one it becomes the four it reaches to somewhere here it becomes three ultimately it reaches to the destination if it be it will become it becomes zero then packet loss but here additional feature is had been added instead of discarding that packet it is informed to the source that the uh, ttl field is hope or hope hope limit is going to be expired so please ex renew that field renew that value so that that datagram or packet can uh, travel over the network and which is a good sign which is a good sign okay so ttl field value is decremented by one by one it reaches to the destination it is okay if not then the value will uh, if it be zero then the it is discarded instead of discarding it is informed to the source and source will again extend that lifetime that is what the hope hope is. then source address this is all the 16 byte number okay uh, source address uh, source address field is 16 byte that is what 128 bit internet address that is identify the original source address who is sender and the destination address who is receiver the destination field in this uh, 16 bit uh, 16 byte field also the internet address is usually identify the final destination of datagram however if the source routing routing is used the field contained the address of the next router also and here it is what the beneficial or good concept over here it is next who is the next hope there is what the router so that value can also be put it over here if you don't know the exact address of the receiver so these are the fields are available let's talk about the extension header this is what the very powerful concept of x uh, in this ip six extension header the length of the base header is only 40 byte in fix this is what the fix in ip six however it, to give the more functionality to the ip datagram so in order to give the additional functionality to the ip datagram the base header can be followed by up to six extension headers. There are some additional six extension headers have been added. So many of these headers are options in the IP origin 4. If you talked about IP origin 4 option field, so there was availability of these headers, but some of uh, some of the headers are new over here. The six type of extension headers have been added. That six type, type of extension header we are going to discuss. So if you talked about the next header, guys, so here up to this, what we have a base header where eight fields are available as version traffic class flow label etc and next header field will be will extend the extension header to this fashion which is which is called as what extension header so additional information to be added to the datagram let's say if i'm sending let's say high message or high message for what sense for which purpose so that that things are that additional information is going to be added over here so how it is going to be added let's talk one by one so here there are six type of extension headers are added hope by hope destination source routing fragmentation authentication and esp that is encrypted security payload take one by one hope by hope what is the purpose of hope by hope the hope by hope option is used 
when the source need to pass information to all routers visited by the datagram so any uh, source and dest uh, destination want to communicate but that packets will travel from the hub by hub let's say router to router so to inform the other routers who whosoever they it is going to be it is meeting it is going to be visiting every 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 if it is meeting every routers so to every router it is, it is sending some information like let's say a certain management information debugging or control functions or length of the datagram it is informing to every node so hope by hope to inform every node destination option destination option is used when source need to pass information to the destination only let's say if the intermediate node uh, or intermediate router are not permitted to uh, access the information let's say we have a, if we have a parcel and we are we have any gift we are wrapping that gift and supposed to that gift supposed to be delivered to the receiver so that intermediate node never can tamper never never uh, can see the information so that options to be that additional information can be saved over here in destination extension header okay so that other cannot uh, see that information only destination can see that information source routing the source routing is is a combination of stick root and the loose source root in ip version 6 what happened in a stick root only predefined root were available that predefined route to be followed for the source um, for the communication whereas loose source routings are there there were multi uh, alternative paths were available so there are fixed route and the exact route and the more routes are available in this stick route and the loose route so this type of information can be stored over here in this uh, source routing uh, extension header then fragmentation this is what the new term in ip version 4 what we have source and the router required fragmentation but here only source can fragment initially source plus router can can fragment the datagram where there was the concept let's say mtu maximum transfer unit on the basis of this anybody can transfer but over here anybody can fragment but over here only sender can fragment that packet the source must use the path mtu discovery technique to find the smallest mtu supported by any network on the path okay so this is what additional field and the fragmentation initially it was more fragment no fragment offset identification options etc information were there but here this information have been uh, separated from the base header to the extension header so this is what the beauty then authentication the authentication extension header has been dual has has dual purpose one it for validate the message sender message uh, sender and ensure the integrity of data so whether data has not uh, whether uh, data has tampered or not that kind of things are available so authentication for authentication purpose authentication header is available separate protocol is available and that information is going to be available over here so as a earlier we made in lecture number 1 of this chapter that it is uh, add good features of the security in ips as ip say but it is not mandatory it is optional and this is added to the extension header but nowadays every applications wanted the security so it is made kind kind of thing, mandatory things and they everybody everybody is are using this particular field then the last extension it is what the encrypted security payload guys the encrypted security payload is an extension that provide the confidentiality and the guard against the like such uh, kind of evad dropping things okay so an extension uh, authentication integrity and uh, uh, authentication possible but confidentiality is not it was not it is not possible so the confidentiality is going to be provided by the uh, encryption okay so these are the six different extension header which have which carries the additional information related with that datagram which wanted to send from which we sent from the source destination so these are the new features have been added in this lecture we have discussed about the base header and the extension header thoroughly whenever the packets come from the source to destination very first field will be version on the basis of that version the datagram has been identified is been identified and in that that packet format it is going to be sent the figures have adopted that is the references figure have adopted from the behros horizon book some features uh, figures like extension header so this is all about the extension header and the base header ip version 6 i hope that this is okay with you after this lecture we are going to discuss about the ip version 6 addressing scheme and other content also thank you thank you so